Hey, welcome back to day 24. Glad to have y'all back. Can y'all see my vision board in the back? I did that today. Some days I don't be feeling too motivated to get out of bed, so I figure why not make me a vision board? I had one at my last apartment and I just look at it every day. It motivated me to work out when I didn't feel like it. It made, motivated me to sew. I was like sewing all the time, posting pictures up of just stuff. It wasn't even like, it was just scraps that I was finding and putting them together and making outfits out of. Um, so I want to get that motivation back to um, force myself to sew every day. I just got so used to going to a job every day and when I was off I was just too tired to sew. So now that I'm home I just want to get myself back in that rhythm of sewing. Also this morning I woke up to a job offer. My the last job I was at before I had my accident offered me a position to um not deliver again cuz I really can't do that. <laughs> I still can barely walk. But to like dispatch it's a dollar less than i was making but it's still decent money i told them i will let them know when my fast is up i am today's topic grateful i am grateful for the offer but i'm just gonna take what how many more days I got? Today is the 24th. Got six more days of fasting. So I'm going to take those six more days to really pray and see if that's what God wants me to do. Because at first it was really hard sitting in the house. Um every day but that's when I was kind of like bound to the bed so I it, it just hurt to breathe and move around and try to walk so all I could do was lay in the bed and that was killing me but now it still hurts a little to walk around like if I walk around too long but at least I can walk around I can breathe a little better um, and I have a car to get out the house, you know, when I start feeling too claustrophobic. So, I actually enjoy now being home and being able to teach my daughter. Even though it's hard some days because she is so uh, stubborn. <laughs> Guess she get that from me. But... It would be like trying to pull teeth, trying to get her to do homework. I've been trying to get her to do homework all day today. But after this recording, we going to do some homework. Like, we got to have this homework done while she on this this little week break. What they call it, fall break. I don't remember having no fall break when I was in high school. It was just Thanksgiving break and Christmas break. I, don't, I ain't never heard no fall break. Seem like these kids have they get every reason to be out of school. Like, dang, why we can have all these excuses to sit at the house? <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm enjoying being at home, teaching her, being able to protect her, cause you know, it's it's scary leaving your kids with people and being a single parent. Often times you have no choice but to try to 
pray about it that gotta send you to the best one that to keep your child the safest and, and so you just never know you see on the news all the time with people kids getting abused killed and all this stuff in the daycare and that's scary it's scary as a parent to know you leave your kids somewhere paying somebody <laughs> it's not even like they're doing it for free you paying somebody to make sure your child is safe so you can go to work and provide for them and you come back and your child is all messed up or dead and it's like ah what am i supposed to do <laughs> I can't take my child to work with me. It'd be great. At least you know your kid would be safe. But, you know, all you can do is just pray. And ask God to cover your kid. But in these six days, if by some miracle, God allows me to continue to be at home and so and make videos even though my videos is not that great <laughs> i know you guys but i'm learning and with anything new it takes practice and figuring things out before you get into a rhythm and perfect stuff so I know my videos are not that great, but if you be patient with me, I hope for them to get better. Yeah. I bet y'all I'm pulling up today's verse. So today's verse is coming from Hebrew 7. And verse 29. Yeah. Yes, my darling. Oh, she always hungry. She been eating all day today. She had some cereal. She had bacon. She had a Lunchable. She just been eating all day. <laughs> when I tell y'all them Ollie vitamins been working, they been having her go on regular and she been eating like crazy. If your child, you feel like your child not eating enough, them Ollie, them Ollie vitamins, they get them eating. <laughs> but back to what I was saying before she interrupted me. Hebrews 7, verse 25. Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him. Because he always live, he always lives to intercede for them <laughs> i bet y'all like this heifer cannot read i can read y'all sometimes <laughs> ah, but being grateful y'all like my hair i tried today you know and i even used like a little stencil to try to get my eyebrows to look a little better I'm trying. I'm about to tell you, I'm about to run out of foundation. So, ooh, it might be six days with no makeup. <laughs> well, at least I know if y'all still come back when I run out of foundation, that you still love me for me <laughs> without the makeup. So, the makeup is just bonus for y'all. Y'all love me with or without the makeup, and I appreciate y'all. But being grateful, I know I'm silly, but you know, you gotta, I'm just a silly person, but don't mind me. Are you grateful for where you at now? Um, it's kind of, we as people, we want 
more without, without being grateful for where we at now. And that comes off as being ungrateful. That's just like me being a parent and Malia. Every time we go into a store, she feel like I should buy her toys. But she has toys in the room that she never plays with. So it's like, why should I keep buying you toys when you don't even play with the toys that you got now? You don't even make me feel like you appreciative of what you got now. Why should I give you more? And that's how God feels. He's like, why should I give you more when... I blessed you with a roof over your head. I blessed you with a car. I blessed you with a job. I blessed you to eat every day. And you don't even appreciate those things. All you keep complaining about is, oh, I got this car, but it's not as nice as the next person. Or I got this car, and I got to make payments all the time. At least, pause that. At least you're able, God is blessing you to be able to make the payments. Or he is, um, uh, or your car is still going. I know my last car, <laughs> when I say that car was like a pup pup car, get you here and there, back and forth to work. But I was so grateful for that car because going, what was it, like six months without a car and having, having to depend on people to drive you places. And little do you know, you dish out more money paying people to drive you places than if you just had your own car. Because it's like... You're giving ten dollars here, ten dollars there, but if you had ten dollars, you know that your gas tank filled up. Them little places that you going, you know, and your gas will last you, you know. But it was adding up, paying people to take me places, or even with paying folks, it's like you couldn't get them to be on time especially when you trying to find a job or get to a job or something like that and I'm paying you and I still can't get to work on time <laughs> so it's like it just it's, it's an inconvenience not having a car especially at the time I was like in well at first I was in Tennessee and Tennessee bus system sucks like well, in Clarksville, it sucks. Like, the buses don't run on Sunday, and it stop at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I was like, 8 o'clock? At least in Georgia, it keep going to, like, midnight or something like that. You have trains and all um, that. Mm -hmm. But I was just grateful to have that car. And that car got me to North Carolina to go check out a building to potentially do a fashion show. It got me back and forth from Tennessee and Georgia. Like, that car was getting me. And I made sure I tried to keep it clean, even though the seats was tore up, the door panels didn't have no covers on there. One of my windows didn't roll up and down. It didn't matter. I tried to keep it clean. And shiny. I. Shiny. <laughs> yeah, shiny. And I made sure I got oil changes on it every time I needed to get one. And. I did my best to take as many plates. Well, try to take as good care of the car as I could. And. When I had the accident, I was so sad because I was like, my car, 
like <laughs> my baby she has gotten me everywhere and she been taking such good care of me and now she's gone thank god I only had to go a month without a car and I was blessed with another car it, to me it's an upgrade it's, it's paid off still and it gets me around it's bigger it's a truck it's a four a four explorer so i got four doors instead of a two door i do miss my stick shift though i'm not gonna lie but i am grateful for this for this car because me and my child is able to go get groceries and whatever else we need to go get and donuts honey donuts and we're able to donuts go make a little money like doing instacart donuts. and postmates and stuff wow donuts um donuts really a hush <laughs> while i'm trying to figure out this job thing and what I'm supposed to do. With That's me. why I'm doing this fast to clear my mind and get closer to God to see. Do with me. What exactly am I supposed to be doing? Um, helping people. Helping people. I'm supposed to be helping people. Yeah. Mm. And the worst way, um, um, worst way them need to go. Oh, which way they need to go. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing, huh? <laughs> you tell someone <laughs> to go. I tell somebody to go? <laughs> well, I'm not here to uh, dictate nobody's life or control anybody's life. All I can do is give advice on what I've been through and what helped me get through to through the situation and uh, hopes that it can help you in your situation. Um, it's up to you to take my advice or not. I'm not forcing anybody. I'm just the messenger. So um, I hope that I'm able to help someone um, in the way that they need. Um, are you being grateful? Are you grateful for where you at now? Are you learning where you at now? Because God would not bless you to go to the next level, to have better, until you appreciate and you're grateful for what you have now. People have homes and complain about the homes. It's like, it's people out here living up under the bridge. At least you have a house. It may not be perfect, or you may have to pay mortgage, but at least you have a home. Be grateful. For your home. Maybe God will bless you that your home will be paid off. Or some by some miracle somebody will come along and fix your house up. Because you're grateful for it. That you're not outside sleeping in the cold or the extreme hot. Like some people have to. Because they have nowhere else to go. Be grateful for your car. You might have to pay a car note, or it might not be the best looking car, but at least you don't have to walk or catch a bus or try to find somebody to drive you around. Be grateful. <laughs> be grateful that. Stop eating on my necklace. Mm -hmm. I want to eat it. No. Somebody made me this necklace in Ohio when I lived there back in 2012. I've had this necklace ever since. Somebody's mom made it for me. See, I, I be grateful for everything somebody give me or do for me. 
grateful because she didn't have to make me this necklace. And I think it's so, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I like it. It is so pretty. She made it I for me. I didn't know her make it for you. Yeah. Uh, I'm grateful. People buy me stuff. I I use whatever they buy me. I use it or I wear it, like cause I know how hard money is to come by, and for somebody <sighs> to take the time out to think about you oh, and man. to get something for you, they must really care. And so I am grateful that you care enough to want to spend some money on me <laughs> or to not even I don't know spend money to take time out to craft this necklace you know for me you want to get down because why you keep trying to break my necklace this looks, um, so this looks like donuts I tell you go get you a donut if you want some donuts just sitting up here trying to break my necklace. <laughs> I just don't. I don't understand the children. I don't understand the children. Are you grateful for your life? Some people say that don't call somebody weak. That is trying to kill themselves. It, it's a weak. It's a weak emotion. It is. Because. I've been there. I tried to kill myself. And I know I felt weak in that moment. I felt like. I wasn't. Deserving of life. Or should be here. Or whatever. You feel weak. And so you try to um, find the easiest way out. That and that's it. Go. That's the easy way out. You don't want to deal with what you're going through. So it's the easy way out. Mm -hmm. Same thing when I smoke weed. Well, when I used to. It was an easy way out. So I didn't have to deal with the pain or think about the stuff going around around me. It's taking the easy way out. Want some donut? But no, I don't want no donut. <laughs> I'm on the fast. I just dumb. How they go eat the donut, Malia? Yeah. Oh my god. But she didn't make me forget where I was going with with that. <laughs> oh, pre be grateful for your life. <laughs> Cause there's some people out here that don't have a choice, you know what I'm saying? Like they get, they battling cancer. They wanna be here. But they got cancer that's trying to take them out. Or some rare blood disease or whatever kind of disease trying to take them out. But they wanna be here. And here you are, perfectly healthy. And just because you don't know how to deal with your problems, you're trying to find an easy way out. While they over here working hard to keep their life. Be grateful for your life. There's some people out here that wish they was as healthy as you. That wish they could just deal with that small problem that you're dealing with. So they wouldn't have to deal with that life or death situation. I know I'm going to make some people mad because of that saying that. But it's true. Mm -hmm. oh, it's yeah. other alternatives to death. Somebody picking on you. I don't know. Tell your parents. Yeah. Tell the the I don't know the principal something tell somebody cause if nobody knows how can they help you you're not saying nothing to nobody so how somebody supposed to know what's going on with you
but you decide to just go ahead and kill yourself. Because that was easier than just telling somebody what was going on. Mm. She a fatty, y'all. <laughs> That's why uh, I, I try. Nah. Close your mouth. That's why I try to be so honest <laughs> with my daughter. So that way she feels comfortable to tell me everything. Because that's what these streets is they doing with these kids. They, they blunt, real honest with them. And that's why the kids are drawn to the streets. Because they like, well, they understand me more than my parents. I'm able to commun communicate with them better than my parents without any judgment. You know what I'm saying? She tells me everything, and I never judge her. And I just explain to her why she feeling that way and how to help her stop feeling that way. Or whatever the situation is. Because sometimes she feels sad and feel like she don't want to be here or don't feel loved because... She's only getting love from one parent, and she wants love from two parents. Um, <laughs> which is difficult, because you can't make somebody grow up and want to be a parent. So all you can do is the best that you can, and pray that one day... Um, God will send her not like a replacement dad, but somebody that could be a father figure to her to show her that love that that she's seeking, that she's missing that male figure. I know growing up, my mom, I knew my mama loved me, but I did seek that male attention. I was obsessed with men because my daddy wasn't around and because of that it led me to date dudes that was selfish and didn't care about me and just treated me any kind of way so I understand where she's coming from but at this point I just all I can do is just pray I, I can't just Bring some random dude in her life. You know. Can't do that. You never know. Somebody's true. Intentions. Or you know. Stuff like that. Pedophiles prey on single mothers. So. No. You hurt minds. That's your. Damn. <laughs> your what? Dude. I don't know what she just said, but. Dude, eat mm. this. No. <sighs> Why she keep trying to make me eat a donut? No, I got them down. And you wasting crumbs all over me. <sighs> I try to tell her to be grateful for the one parent she do have, cause even though I've been sick for the past year and a half, God has blessed me to still be here with her and to love her and to provide for her the best that I can. Um, last night was so horrible. I was in so much pain. Like... Is it the garden X? No, I was having stomach pains. This, I've been having stomach pains for a year and a half and haven't really got no answer for why I'm having these pains and I felt like I wanted to throw up and my heart was racing so I really didn't get too much sleep last night I just woke up and finished off the rest of my homework and waited for Malia to wake up so we could have did homework but we never got to the homework because she been procrastinating all day mm -hmm. see my my 
bad habits rubbing off on her, the procrastination. So I, I'm working on that. So. Why is that fun? So that I won't, you know, rub that off on her. But be grateful, guys. Be grateful for whatever God has blessed you with, and He will give you more every time. That's all I can say. Be grateful for where you at now. Show God that you are grateful for what He is doing for you right now. And He will bless you with more. He'll know that when He give you more, you'll be grateful for that also. He don't want y'all out here being spoiled little kids. Saying y'all adults. <laughs> spoiled adult kids ungrateful for the things that he is giving y'all and feeling like you're entitled because you're not entitled to anything he don't really have to do anything for you just like me as a parent yes it would make me a bad parent but i really not necessarily i don't really have to do nothing for malia yes it would make me a bad parent if i didn't but the fact that I am doing something for her, because it is parents out here that that feel like that. Like, like, I don't have to do nothing for you. Like, you need to do something for me. I've seen parents like that. Like, I need you to go out here and make me some money. Like, you had me. Why I got to go make money and take care of you? Shouldn't you be taking care of me? But it's parents like that, that feel like that. I don't know why, but it is. But, yeah. God ain't got to do nothing but the basic necessities. Make sure you ate. Make sure you have a roof over your head. You know, make sure you clothe. And... Okay, we'll put it on, Malia. She just, she like interrupting me. But he don't have to do anything but just meet your needs every day. So anything yeah. extra, you should be grateful for. Because he don't have to do it. Yeah, but show them your thing. I already, we already talked about that. Why you no, said the show little. them. I showed them. You can't show mine. <sighs> Malia want to show you guys her um, vision board real quick. Let me see. Can y'all see that? So, her, this is her vision board. She says she wants to be an astronaut when she grows up. So, we made that and we go put it on the wall so that she can be reminded of that that's what she really want to do and to work hard towards that i don't know what it is with my <laughs> child but she's obsessed with outer space and dinosaurs <laughs> so what i'm really scared of dinosaurs okay i'm really scared with them <laughs> okay <laughs> so if she want to be an astronaut i'm going to be here to fully support her to do that um I'm just already letting her know it's going to be hard work. <laughs> got to be really smart. So she got to get into this homework that she don't ever want to do. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all coming in and listening to me. I hope that I can open some people's eyes and minds. And to help you be humble. For where you at, be grateful for what you got. Love those that love you. Because it's very rare to find somebody that really, truly loves you for who you are. So, if you know somebody that just love you without asking for anything but just your love back. I'm Daisy. Appreciate that. Hold on to that. Be grateful for that. Right.
Yay. Stop complaining about what you don't have and be grateful for what you do have. Because you could have nothing. I have socks on. Yes, I do have socks on because it's cold in the house, y'all. <laughs> Where's this baby go? Yeah, it's starting to get cold outside. <laughs> so I need to hurry up and make this, um, um, this, like, this little sweater thing that I'm going to make. I'm going to have a video coming for that, too. Yeah. But Number two. Tomorrow, I'm going to start on Malia's, um, costume for but, Halloween. Yeah. She's going to be a skeleton, so. skeleton. Watch out for that. The videos. Daddy. This child is so weird. <laughs> Daddy skeleton. Go come up in your brain. I bet y'all like, what is she saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll be having to be a translator. I'm like, she, she five, almost six, and she still, I need to. I've been trying to help her pronounce her words better. But or is it enunciate? It's lying. Enunciate. I pronounce Enunciate. Wow, it's an English. And I'm her teacher. Oh, Lord. I got to learn myself so I can teach her. I got to work on my English. That wasn't my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> but I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Bye 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 bye. Like Out. the video, comment, Out. Um, Out. subscribe Out. to my YouTube channel, um, share. <laughs> Let's get the word out. Let's Goodbye. grow together. Let's don't grow together. Let's do grow together. Don't no, listen to her. No, no. Let's do grow together. Either brothers and or sisters. Be quiet. It's hard <laughs> to do it alone. If it's somebody that's willing to grow with you, take advantage of it. Let's grow together. I love y'all. Bye. Thank y'all. Bye. Ooh, look at that jiggle bag. <laughs> bad. You bad people in person. She just called me fat, y'all. I feel so offended. Oh, I'm going to cry. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs>